Hello everybody, Ira David Wood back again with another episode of What You Doing? You know, we had a great response from episode one, so much so that a lot of you sent in videos of your own to add to the collection. So we're going to bring those to you today. These are members of our extended family, our theater community. And we're just interested in what you've been doing with your spare time since we're all quarantined here in our own homes. We also have a new segment for you today, too, called What You Cooking? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. So listen... If you want to submit a video, please do. All you have to do is uh, video it, obviously, and please do it, if you can, in landscape. Landscape is sideways. Portrait is this way. Landscape just looks better. You can attach it to a message and uh, send it to our Christmas Carol page, Facebook page, or our uh, Theater in the Park page, and we'll see if we can't put it up on the website for you. So... Without further ado, let's find out what some members of the theater community are doing. Hey, what you doing? Hey, everybody. We're all down here in Newburn, hanging out, waiting for somebody to figure out the, vi the vaccine. And in the meantime, uh, we were going to make some music. But I had shoulder surgery about three weeks ago. And uh, so now I'm uh, mending, shall we say. And uh, oh, and here are my two, one, two of my closest friends sitting over here in their little cases, waiting for my arm to, uh, to heal and uh, get back to the business of making some high energy blues and folk music finger picked on a wonderful Taylor and a wonderful Martin guitar. So good to be with you this morning. Take good care. See you this Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello there. It's the Miller family here. We are missing the mess out of our friends and family. And we've been staying busy with neighborhood walks. Schoolwork. Making cookies. And even though Wimbledon's canceled, the badminton in our backyard is pretty epic. From our family to yours, we wish you health and happiness. And we can't wait until a time when we can come together again soon. Love and hugs to all. Happy quarantine. We're doing kitchen renovation. Hi. I start my mornings with a cup of coffee. Or is it Red Bull and vodka? and work from my kitchen table until it's time to watch all the Hulu and Netflix I've been missing. I'm spending quality time with my puppy. <laughs> hey guys, is David Moore here? I'm upstairs in a closet. Carol's locked me in and, and locked the door too and won't let me downstairs. I've spent a lot of time with my dog up here in the closet. She brings me meals twice a day. Um, I hardly know who I am anymore. I haven't been able to see a barber or get close to a razor. But I'm doing okay, and uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. Good morning. I bet you're all wondering what a single woman like Chrissy Rapp does during the time of social isolation. Not much different than normal. I go to work because I'm considered an essential employee, the cow's milk, I have to answer questions. I have been cooking a lot more at home. Um, I've broken out the crochet a couple times. I'm considering breaking out the sewing machine. I've been reading a lot, listening to music in ways I haven't in a long time. And I'm also getting lots and lots of good sleep. I don't really have many other activities not exciting ones like Kelly does, but they make me happy. I hope you're doing all you can to be happy during this time of social isolation and uproar. Hey everybody! Hey everybody. <laughs> Hi everybody, Arnold, Crystal, and Allie here, letting you know that we are staying at home and staying safe and well. 
and uh, doing our best to entertain this little rascal here and taking care of each other along the way. I've turned into a homeschool teacher. We're learning more about Pokemon than we ever wanted to know. Lots and lots of projects and yard work and still going through hurricane repairs here, but as you can tell, it's not all bad. So we are thinking about you. We send lots and lots of hugs and hope that someday soon we can do it for real. So until then, wash your hands, love your family, and know that we love and miss you too. Bye. Bye. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. This is Billy Hoffman. Well, what can I tell you? Life in the wide world goes on much as it has these past age for me. Um, still doing real estate and it's deemed essential. So getting out there and trying to get my clients under contract, um, but taking all the necessary precautions. So every house I go show, I thoroughly wipe down afterwards. So uh, basically trying to sell your house and clean your house at the same time. So you're welcome. Uh, but otherwise, just trying to build you know, better habits for myself by waking up early in the mornings, um, going for runs, doing crossword puzzles, um, gotten into, you know, gardening and doing some flower beds. So basically I'm turning into my grandparents and hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, but otherwise just, you know, trying to better myself. I hope everybody else is doing well and staying safe during these crazy times. I miss you and I love you and can't wait to see you again soon. I work from home during the day. So Monday through Friday, my days are pretty full. And at night, my husband and I will watch television or I'll read, I'm working on a, um, some research for a new play, hopefully. So the research uh, for that takes plenty of time. Well, there we go from a few members of the theater community. Now, our family is extended as any theater family is. So we're going to hear from a few people today who are part of that extended family. We're going to start with one fellow who sells a lot of Cadillacs. If you need one, he's got one for you. He's a dear friend of theater in the park. Brandon Boy, right here. So the question was asked, how am I spending my time? My goodness, I'm rather bored. For those who know me, I'm a very high energy, um, energetic person and I enjoy being around people which not many people out here today but I have been spending a lot of time out here on the property cutting grass which I enjoy so very much I spend a lot of time with family and boy they're sick of me and for some reason they're no longer returning my phone calls or answering text messages but I hope everybody's okay but we're just making the best of the time that we have and making the best of spending time with one another. We're also remembering to support our local businesses and our local economies. And I'm optimistic, and I hope you are too, that we're going to come out of this thing better than before we went into it. Um, I believe in the American people, the spirit of America. We are so fortunate and so blessed to live in the greatest country in the world. I believe in our doctors, our nurses, and we're so grateful for them. And as we just continue to spend time in isolation, I know it's different, but I encourage everybody to spend time with your families, call, check in with your loved ones, and become a better person. Thank you, Brandon. Great to hear from you. Now another special guest. We don't see him on television too often these days, but when we do, it's a real treat. He's here. We've got him. The great Leslie. <laughs> Bill Leslie returns. What you doing, Bill? Hello everybody, I'm Bill Leslie. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about this really surreal period. A psychologist friend told me the other day, introverts are thriving right now, while extroverts are pretty much going crazy. I think I fall somewhere right in the middle. I don't know about you, but I've developed a series of rituals, routines, and rhythms to get me through each day. First thing every day is coffee on the porch and listening to the birds, including these beautiful cedar waxwings who stopped by recently. Then it's the news of the day with our favorite part, the latest musings from David Wood. I really like this one. I miss the days we were terrified of romaine lettuce. Every morning I spend at least an hour working on new music in my little studio. 
Then we're off for a long walk with Rufus. We'll stop a lot along the way to take some pictures. After lunch, I always take a nap with my buddy Rufus. We'll tackle some big project around the house in the afternoon. We try to make dinner special with this original shrimp and grits recipe, for example, from Crook's Corner in Chapel Hill. Evening is for reading, writing, and occasional binge watching, and of course, checking in on family and friends. That is pretty much the same story every day from the land of Leslie. Thank you, Bill. Leslie, the great Leslie, has spoken. Love that man. He's the best straight man God ever put on the face of this earth. And it sounds like you're having a very productive time, Bill. I'd like to hear from another member of our extended family, someone who we respect a great deal, who comes into our living rooms every day on Channel 5, David Crabtree. We're honored. Hey there. Wish we could bring you something funny or creative. Unfortunately, in this day and time, that's not the case. Take a look at our newsroom, normally teeming with people. In the afternoon, 70 people would be here putting things together. Today, very few. Most people working from home or simply working remotely. Nothing virtual about what we're doing. So how are we spending our time? Hopefully continuing to be sentinels for people and letting you know we will get through this together, but we've got a long way to go. Keep the peace. Thanks, David. Thank you so much, David. You know, David and I were texting a little bit and we talked about what a job these news people have. You know, we can turn television off. We can turn the news off and walk away. We can turn on music read a book, turn the channel somewhere else. But these folks, they live it and breathe it 24-7. They can't turn it off. And it's got to be kind of tough on them. I wonder about the burnout. Because these are tough times. So, David, we love you. And thank you for being part of our episode number two today. Hang in there. Good times are coming back. Speaking of good times, a lot of us have been spending time in the kitchen. So to end our episode number two today, let's find out because inquiring minds want to know what you're cooking. Hello again. It is me. So I'm actually making a... Uh, let's see, can I do this? I'm browning my pot roast. I'm going to have a balsamic pot roast tonight. And you can see, if I can get over here, I'm going to back up because I don't want to do things. I want all of the wonderfully chopped veggies. We just got a fresh produce box came in today. They left it on our porch, and it had potatoes and onions and things like that in it. So, of course, we're going to use that. So, hopefully, when all this works out, I've seasoned the meat. I'm browning the meat. I'm going to put all the stuff in the Instant Pot. I'm going to turn it on, and it's going to work magic. And then we're going to eat. I'll send you a video of that, too. Welcome to Cooking with Kelly. Today, I'm going to introduce you to something that's very easy to make. It is shell pasta with feta cheese, cherry tomatoes cut in halves, fresh basil, rotisserie chicken, all mixed together, with just a little bit of olive oil and a pinch of salt. It is pretty simple to make. The only thing you have to cook is the pasta. The rotisserie chicken is available at most grocery stores, pre-cooked, and you get this giant bowl of deliciousness. I've made it twice already, and I'm just gonna keep eating it because it's amazing. All right. I hope you enjoyed my cooking with Kelly. Hi, Craig. What are you making? Oh, hey, honey. I 
I'm making my homemade tomato sauce. You got spaghetti and all that good stuff. Homemade. Really? What did you put in it? Uh, uh Italian tomatoes. Uh -huh. Ooh, what else? Oh, um, I said it's homemade. Pure olive oil. Anything else? Uh, fresh onions and some um uh, some sea salt, fresh garlic, fresh basil, chili pepper, black pepper, dried oregano. Homemade. Homemade. <laughs> Yummy. Thank you. Rusty's skeptical. Hello everyone, this is Ira David Wood the Fourth, and today I'm gonna show you how I make scrambled eggs. Um, this is a, a different way of making scrambled eggs. It's what the French call papoose, and uh, it's what Gordon Ramsay and Jacques Pepin and Wolfgang, is how they all cook their eggs. So what I've done is I've already got uh, some butter and some olive oil uh, here in the pan, and it is set on high heat. Uh, the reason I put olive oil in with the butter is because it's on high heat, and we don't want the butter to burn uh, before we, we cook our eggs. Um, so that's why we do that. Uh, I recommend a, a wooden spoon for this. This is what we're going to be using to, to cook the eggs. Um, and over here, I've got three eggs already with some salt and pepper and some salsa because you eat with your eyes uh, first. So a little salsa gives it a little color and makes it a little more Western style. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to pour my eggs into the pan. And this should cook fairly quickly. Um, here we go. And we want to keep moving it around. We don't want anything to get brown or stick. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time and it makes it excellent. That's just a little cooking yolk. Okay, so eggs are coming around nicely. Now, a lot of people uh, want to put in water or milk into eggs. Uh, you really don't have to do much. Just let the eggs, you know, speak for themselves. Uh, also, don't put your salt in early. What we're going to do is let this cook a little bit before we put in our uh, salt because what the salt will do if you put it in too early is it'll actually deconstruct the eggs and you won't get them light and fluffy which is kind of what this method is is all about. Now see how it's still a little nice and runny there? That's exactly what we want. And now we're going to remove it from the heat and we're going to throw in our salt and pepper. Alright, perfect. And now we're just going to cook a little more. We're going to turn the heat off. There. And that's pretty much done. They're already soft and light and fluffy. It took no time at all. Mmm. Can you smell that? Can you smell that through your computer screen? Alright, perfect. And now we're going to plate this. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom. And we're going to add a little salsa here. How about a little more? That sounds good. We'll add a little more salsa. And uh, oh, and I've got some green onion in my freezer. So we're gonna grab some green onion, which is there. There we go. All right, perfect. So we're gonna throw this green onion right on top there. Look how pretty that looks. And that is how you make scrambled eggs or how I make scrambled eggs. So I hope everyone's staying safe and stress-free in this quarantine and stay sunny side up. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget, if you've got videos, we'd love to have them. Take care of yourselves. Stay home. Be safe. Be happy. Bye-bye.